Hey guys, so basically as, as, <laughs> as quick as Cancun began, it ends because we were only here for one night. Really it was a stop through um, on the way to the airport, so we didn't miss the airport. Now there's probably the first little tip is on the, on the bus on the way in, there is a bus that you can get in the morning um, that takes you directly to the airport and it kind of lined up a little bit with, with our flights, but the bus that we took was probably about 40 to 45 minutes late. So if that was the same case for the bus that went to the airport, might have put a bit of pressure on on the um, on, on actually making your flight. So Selena's decision to come here for the night was the right decision. Um, that was really good. I'm glad we did that. Um, look, we only, obviously we only scratched the surface. The place we stayed at, the um, Seascape, yeah, good. Um, it was about two hundred dollars Australian. The facilities are really good. You're right. It's on it's a private beach. Um, you know, sit there and have beers and stuff, and um, charge it all to your room. And we just walked down to the city centre, which was probably eleven minute walk. Last night, um, as as you saw, <laughs> we had dinner and stuff, so that was that was pretty cool. And um, it was just you know, it was a party atmosphere. It's obviously Halloween, which is a big deal over this side of the world. So we're about to go downstairs, take a, drag our bags down, and go on our um, cab um, to the airport. Haven't been to Cancun Airport, so we're going to have a look, um, have a look at that, and see all the little things we're going to learn there. Um, I booked I booked the cab through Booking.com this time. It's probably, it was about thirty thirty dollars US, so. Maybe fifty dollars Australian, um, probably a bit expensive, but you know what? Just it is a forty-minute ride from where we are to the airport, and so we have to be there at that time. That gives us exactly three hours um, check-in from flying for an international flight, which is probably right by the time we find the right correct gate and all sorts of stuff. So um, pretty important. Anyway, we're going to um, trudge on that, and um, we'll we'll have a quick look at Can at the Cancun International Airport, trying to find an Amex Lounge. So I'll definitely have a look at the at the Amex Lounge and work out what it is. If we can get in, um, it's, it's always a little bit hard with, with Amex lounges that aren't really Amex lounges. Um, but I've also got some priority passes up my sleeve, so hopefully we can get into one of them, do a bit of a creek teak, and bring it forward for you. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. See ya. In the reflection. Now that does not count. What? You're the... looking at the no, reflection, not the object. Oh. Well, Nickelodeon. No, you didn't get the Nickelodeon. You tried. He just got us in from, from, from the taxi in. That, that's, that's all he did. Why did he want to help us? Well, he doesn't, he's, got, he's got to go and help other people. We're, like, we're just, we're, we don't know how long we're going to be standing here for. He just got us in from, from, from the taxi in. That, that's, that's all he did. Why does he want to help us? Well, he he's, got, he's got to go and help other people. We're, like, we're just, we're, we don't know how long we're going to be standing here for. Okay guys, so we've just come into the VIP lounge at Cancun International. So down near 67A, you have to go down the escalator. Um, what a nice 
ambiance. Some really cool. We got in with our MX cards. So I love, I love that. A couple of workstations over here, which I might jump into in a minute. Get some work done. You know, you're not going to run out of workstations. Fake plants, but everything's looking pretty nice. Toilets. Before we got, let's have a look at the food. We've got mini burgers. Okay, we got some beers. I'm going to have a couple of them. We've got an overnight flight, so I need to get, I'm going to get some blood thinners in, so I don't have blood clots. Yeah, little slider burgers. Cheese. I wonder if I can have some. I wonder what wine they got out there for. I think Selena. I think Selena needs a wine. You know, full bar. Full bar at the end there. Oh yeah, regular spares, but I think I see some Hennessy, which I would love some Hennessy. And some proper coffee. <coughs> Little lounges in here and check this out. Alright, little sleeping pods. I have no idea how they work. Oh wow. They really are pods. I don't know if you can see them. Oh cool. They are pretty sexy. Sleeping pods. Now it's only no feeding berries. One person at a time, bugger. 20 minutes, you can get a 20 minute nap. I reckon we're gonna put Selena into one of these in a minute. And um, she can catch up on some much needed rest, so that's pretty cool. All right, I better, uh, better get myself a drink and um, some meat, and I'm gonna take you back through. I just want a quick little chat about the immigration process here. I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, so, um, uh, sitting and having something to eat. Looks like they've got a bit of a, ooh, like a seafood rice. I can't even give that in the shop, can I? How, how hope am I? Having a, a like, like a risotto, a seafood risotto, which has been pretty good, it's got some clams and stuff in it. Um, and I was just thinking, um, the experience is the first time to be at the Cancun airport, and this is the international airport, so, a couple of things we pulled up and our bags are over. Um, we thought we read that we could get 25 kilos for a bag and we got two bags, but we only had four. And you know, a couple of them like 200 grams over, like one was a kilo over, it's like 26. And he's like, no, 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 you get 23. 23 is like, oh shit, can you pull something out? Can you shift around? We couldn't, we can't repack just the way everything's set up. So he's done us a deal. Um, he's going, look, it's going to cost you 300 US. And he's seen our face a couple of years look, we can do a deal in cash to get you um, sorted out and um, we'll see you around the corner. And we are paying 100 US, which is 2,000 pesos, up in up the elevator and around the corner when there's no <laughs> cameras. Um, so, you know, the system works. Um, overweight on baggage is a, is a ridiculous thing anyway. It doesn't affect the plane flight, really. Um, you think I just charge you for it, so it's not as if it's using that much fuel up. So, And he gets a little bonus for the day. So it, everything works there. But immigration, immigration was beautiful. So fast, so fast. Um, do not take your laptops out of their bag. Do not take your devices out of their bag. Do not take your shoes off. Um, just let everything roll through and we'll sort it out. We're not idiots. I'm like, how refreshing is that? Like way better than a domestic or anything like that. And, um, especially international, you know, coming from Australia where it's just ridiculous. So that was great. Um, I walked through, obviously, you know, we've got metal hips. So that went, went off and she just went, yeah, okay, and sort of waved the wand over me. She went, nah, all good, you can go through. So, like, we were through immigration in 60 seconds, um, realistically, through, through the through the, um, the baggage scanning bit. The immigration was fast, there was no one there. Show us your passport, show us your booking, yep, cool, go through. So, maybe it was two minutes. It was just beautiful, actually. So, how refreshing. And I compared that, I compared that to Heathrow. Oh. Oh God, I never want to go back to Heathrow Airport ever again actually, to be honest, so anyway guys, that's, that's our experience of immigration. It was a great experience. Um, Baggies, you guys made a big bonus. We learned a lesson. Um, all good, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, I'm gonna feed and do some work, I'll talk to you soon.
Hey guys, so um, jumped out of the lounge, which was that lounge was really nice, that Tamex lounge, the VIP lounge, um, down near gate 67A down the escalator. If you're at um, Cancun International Terminal 4, and then we had a oh shit moment. We went, fuck, nobody looked at or thought to pay for and book online our visas for Turkey. And we're like, oh crap, 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 what have we done, what have we done? So we had to get online and try the Express, okay? So you pay a little bit of Express. It costs about $200 each person, so about 600 Australian. Express, like you pay an extra 50 bucks and it's done within like a couple of hours or something, we hope. Because um, well, we're just out to board, right? We just did them like 20 minutes ago. Um, so you never know, we could be stuck at the Turkey, the Turkish airport in Istanbul and be like, you know what, we're just waiting on for internet for our visas to come through approved. So we got on there, Selena's done the right thing because she's administration based. She's got on them and booked them online. And there's a little box that says, how are you going to pay? It's like diners and visa and, and Amex and stuff. It says Amex. It's not actually American Express. So they wouldn't take your Amex cards, American Express cards. We've got three or four of them, right? So you're like, okay, well, we'll just use Visa. A heritage Bank Visa cards. Hey, Heritage. They're just, they're just not set up for international travel at all. They just should stick to Toowoomba and Darling Downs effectively. Um, so, trying to then book our tickets with our Heritage Visa accounts. And it says, hey, we just we have to double check. We don't know if it's you. We've got to send a code to your phone, your Australian phone number. We don't have Australian phone numbers here. We've got Mexican phone numbers. Like You can't, you can't have four or five months on Telstra roaming. You, you'll have to sell your house, right? So we couldn't use our own money again from Heritage. So this is the third time internationally we've just been without, without access to our own property. From Heritage Bank. So we've had to ring mum in Australia at 20 to 5 in the morning. Mum answered. Um, I think my sister's got her trained pretty well, but if she sees it from us, she knows she knows there's something. So mum's had to get on there and we've and we've had to get mum's credit card details and book. And I think mum's had to you know make sure that, that goes through. Mum had to get on online, you know, at five in the morning and transfer money into her special visa account and all that sort of stuff. So we ended up using mum's visa account for Suncorp or something like that. Um, it says it's usually like between two and six hours for the express to get there. So I'm assuming that it'll come to your Selena's email while we're in the air across different time zones. Fingers crossed, because if it doesn't, we'll be, we'll, be, we'll be stuck at the airport just waiting for that to turn up. So anyway, little hint guys, look, I just forgot. I just forgot, probably, you know, this one's on me. I should know better than that. So I just fucked up. I should know better. We've got to book our visas and, and we're scrambling an hour and a half before the plane leaves. So it's a 12 and a half hour flight over, over so it, it should turn up. But then, you know what? Banks, you can't get your own property out. It's scary, isn't it? Really scary. Really scary. So anyway, all right, that's that's the way for me. We're about to board and we'll, however, I'm looking forward to flying with Turkish Airlines. I've got a great reputation, so we'll see if that's, um. That's actually upheld, and we're waiting to see if we get some Turkish delight as a snack, so we're we'll looking forward to that. All right, see you on the plane.
aplarını açmayın. Tüm elektronik cihazlarınızı kullanabilirsiniz. Uçak park pozisyonuna ulaştığında başüstü dolaplarını açarken dikkatli olunuz. Star Alliance üyesi Türk Hava Yolları ile uçtuğunuz için teşekkür ediyor. Sizlerle yeniden karşılaşmayı diliyoruz. Ladies and gentlemen and dear children, welcome to Istanbul Airport, meeting point of the world. We hope that you had a pleasant flight. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off and do not open the overhead bins. You may use your electronic devices. Please be careful while opening the overhead bins when the aircraft reaches its final parking position. Thank you for flying with Turkish Airlines, a member of Star Alliance. We would like to say goodbye and hope to meet you again. Señoras y señores, bienvenidos al aeropuerto de Estambul, punto de encuentro mundial. Esperamos que hayan tenido un vuelo agradable. Por su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón abrochado hasta que la señal luminosa se haya apagado y no abran los compartimentos superiores. Wave or thumbs up or something. We're in Turkey. That's how they say it. Turkey. Good. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm doing a video, not a photo. Hey guys, alright, so that was um, that was a pretty crud flight actually. Um, uh, look, as far as Turkish Airlines goes, that, that, that part of it was pretty good. Like again, immigration through Cancun was amazing. It was really good. Jumped on a plane, plane was full because it came from Mexico. Um, food was good, but, but, but Turkish Airlines, the seats, the seats are comfortable. Um, they're not wide, they're, they're not as wide as Chris Fly, I reckon. Not, that's probably the plane. Because it was like all of a sudden night time, we didn't really have like a chance to test the service, like hail more alcohol or any of that sort of stuff. Um, but it was alright. The plane was not too cold. They didn't have the air conditioning turned on like some crazy people do, like at, at blasting zero. Um, but you know, it was a 12, 12 and a half hour flight, overnight flight, uncomfortable, shitty to sleep. Um, Selena keeps correcting me, 11 and a half. Thank you, Selena. Um, so it felt like 14. Felt like 14 to the crew. Okay, no worries. Um, but the, the airport at Istanbul, 
like really big but really quiet. It was dead. We got through really quickly on everything. Immigration was really fast. Um, nobody asked to look for our down at our downloaded visas, which was a stress. We raced around quickly. Went to we. You can get a Wi-Fi machine, which is really good. Go straight to a Wi-Fi machine, scan your passport, um, tick a um, tick a box, and all of a sudden you get Wi-Fi for an hour at, at the airport. Really good system, um, really advanced. I really liked it. So we were waiting on our, um, as as we said earlier, our, our visas to come through on Selena's email. So it finally came through, and you know we got these PDFs opened up and stuff like that. And they didn't even ask to see them anyway. I would say they're all linked up, or I don't know. So. Um, that was that was pretty easy, but immigration was fast. Um, baggage wasn't terrible. Um, had to scan our bags through our, our, our customs because because we were requested to. So we did, we did that, and our driver was pretty much waiting for us. And we're off to the hotel now, which um, I've got no idea how long that takes to get there. Maybe I'm not sure. So we'll soon see. And I'm looking at a bit of the countryside, and um, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking. Uh, we can have a heap of photos and a heap of footage from Istanbul. So we're only here for a layover, so you know, day and a night. But um, we're gonna, we're not gonna sleep. We're gonna make it worthwhile. We will um, keep you posted when we rock up to the hotel. Sleep up some more about your safety, buddy. So you make that choice. It's a collar. You put your collar. Now he's gone. You know what? Oh, this is so steep. <laughs> you have some. Okay, cool.